Hi, this is Monty from Mopart Vehicles and welcome to another one of our detailed vehicle appraisals on a car that's just come in to us. This is our uh, 2007 on 57 uh, BMW 325i petrol M Sport. It's quite a rare car, you won't find lots and lots of these around, especially in this colour combination. It's lovely. So, um, I'm going to sort of briefly walk around the car and then give you a more detailed view very shortly. Now these videos tend to take about 8 to 10 minutes long, sometimes a bit longer. Apologies about that. Uh, I just I do sometimes go into a bit too much detail on a car, but we don't want to waste anybody's time. We'll tell you exactly how a car is. Uh, so whether you're two miles down the road or 200 miles away, when you come to view it, it should be as I've described it. Now we are all human, uh, I don't intentionally go out to waste anybody's time. Please read some of my reviews on Auto Trader. they are all genuine reviews um, and uh, we, we try and do our very, very best. Okay, now she's covered 99,000 miles. I will be using this car myself over the next few days, week. I tend to put about four to 500 miles on our vehicles just to make sure they are all okay. Um, when it leaves me today, it's gonna to go to our prep guys. Um, they're gonna uh, complete a service on the vehicle. I'll tell you what we're gonna do in that service. It's gonna be plugs, filters, etc., that type of thing. Now, the reason why I'm holding the, uh, the camera by the registration number, please feel free to do any checks that you need to do. Ringing up BMWs if you wanna check any kind of service history, etc., that type of thing. Now, uh, I know that this car has got I think six services in total, uh, and we're gonna complete a service as well, so it'll have seven services. Now, I'm not too sure if you know anything about BMWs and how their services generally work. They'll normally be every sort of two years, uh, 18 to 20,000 miles, that type of thing. That's how their services work out. They normally have a, uh, a normal service, then an inspection service, etc. So at the moment, we have started uh, the service work on the vehicle. So it's had brand new brake pads and discs at the front and it's had new brake pads on the rear. Didn't need any discs. And then it's gonna go back to the guys to finish off uh, the service. The reason why I took the car out, so I've had a few phone calls on it. We hadn't had any pictures on it of the car as yet. So we had a few people asking about the car. So I dragged it out of the uh, from the prep guys to get the video done. Now you will notice the alloy wheels. Uh, they're not the normal standard silver. We've had these wheels um, painted in gunmetal grey. So it's, it's a matte gunmetal grey. We didn't go for a shiny one. We wanted to make the car look a little bit different to everything else that's out there. But when you see the interior as well, um, you'll know there's not much else out there. Right, uh, we'll start off on the driver's side front. Now, as I mentioned, the wheels have just been refurbished. You've got uh, Bridgestone uh, run flat tyres all the way around. They're all a matching set of tyres. And let's just pan down the side. Hopefully, if I move the camera slowly enough, we tend to use HD cameras anyway, just so you can get a good look down the side of the car. There's no great big gouges, dents, things like that. There were a few little trolley dents, we've had them addressed. But it's not gonna be a brand new car, guys. She is coming up to 12 years of age now. Uh, but we try, um, we try our best of cars, you know. Um, it may be a brand new car to you, that's what we tell customers. It may be a brand new car to yourself, but she'll always be sort of 11 and a half years, nearly 12 years of age. Okay, now hopefully if I squat down, you might be able to, I'm not too sure if you'll pick up really good reflections or not, you may do on the other side. Now you may have already noticed it's got privacy glass, so it's got a slight smoky tint to the back windows, which is not like a limo black. Let's just briefly show you inside as well. And then there you have it. It's a really lovely, lovely light cream leather interior. You've got the sport seats in this car, obviously being the M Sport. Now there's a slight bit of wear on the driver's seat here. Slight bit of wear, it's to be expected, it's one of those things. Um, it is gonna go, we, we did take it to some guys to have a look at getting the leather done. They've done a few little bits and pieces on the door panels, um, but I sort of just left the seat as it was really, because uh, it was really hard to try and match up that sort of color. But again, with this sort of age of car, it's never gonna be brand new. So we've got automatic headlamps, automatic wipers. You've got telephone. You've got a pre-wiring package in this particular car that goes into the center armrest, but you've also got it as Bluetooth. 
you've got dual climate control which is uh, the air conditioning is nice and cold you've got heated seats on the car as well and cruise control you can probably see a switch there for the cruise control six speed automatic transmission two keys for the car okay let's just show you the back it's lovely with that kind of m sport contrasting black and cream leather i think it really sets it off it doesn't make it too dark in here because you've got the anthracite headlining that you'll tend to get on the m sport but i think the two color combinations look lovely aluminium trim on the door panels here now you have got it on the rest of the car let me just show you in there as well let's go back to that so you've got the central console and on the dash there it's aluminium i think personally if i was specking the car maybe i would have gone for a i don't know a black piano black or a black ash wood that type of thing but it's got the aluminium trim in the car rear parking sensors are standard on the m sport now you've got a couple of little marks on the back bumper one just along here if i move around you might be able to just try and pick it up looks like someone might have just reversed into the back of something now again if i just took a picture from back here you'd never pick any of that up all right this is the reason why we tend to do the videos now anything along this side of the car is absolutely fine there was a couple of little stone chips or a couple of little marks on the edges of the doors but they have all been touched up okay you're going to have a few like hairline scratches but in fairness you're probably not going to pick anything up on this even though with a hd camera you're probably not going to be able to pick it up at all okay along the passenger so along the boot lid all is fine there there's a couple of little hairline scratches i'm not too sure if you'll pick them up if i go around this way probably won't they're very very tiny Right, let's go down the passenger side. So there we go again with our videos. We're up to over seven minutes now. Apologies about that. Hopefully you can try and pick up some of the reflections of the grass, these sort of barriers here. But again, it's all lovely down here. Now there were a couple of little trolley dents along the back door and I'll show you. Um, we have got them taken out, but again, it's just left a little bit of a mark. Let's just show you on that passenger rear door. It's just along here. Okay, there was a bit of a dent along here. Okay, we've had that pulled out, but there is a bit of a mark on there. We've polished out as best as possible. But again, it's black. She's always gonna show lots and lots of marks. But again, if I took a picture from back here, again, it's the same sort of thing. You're not gonna notice that, guys. Let's just show you inside. Hopefully you can try and pick that up. Really doesn't look like the back seats have been used at all. It's all in really good condition. Back to the seats there. Let's just show you the door panel. You'll tend to have a little, there's a couple of little marks on the passenger one I'll show you, the front. So just behind here you can see there's a few little marks on the leather, but nothing, you know, um, too crazy then let's show you on here so again it's a couple of little marks on the back there we've done our very best to try and get them covered over but it's never it's never going to look brand new especially with this kind of color interior but i think a lot of people do understand you know when a car becomes you know whether it's three years five years ten years fifteen years of age it's never going to be brand new but everything else is just squat down. Just show the rest of the seats. You've got adjustable height uh, for driver and passenger. You've also got your electronic kind of, uh, I wouldn't say lumbar support, but it sort of squeezes you in. These little airbags that are in the side of the seats there, they squeeze you in. You've got your obligatory cup holders for the passenger and one for the driver find there okay let's just go around the front of the car you 
plenty of tread on the tyres. As I mentioned, they're run flat. They're all Bridgestone tyres all the way around. Right, we're up to about just over 10 minutes now, so we'll try and wrap it all up. So, front of the car, she's done 99,000 miles. Black car, it's going to take most of um, the, the chips and things like that. So, you have got a few chips along the front, leading edge of the lower section of that really lovely deep scooped M Sport bumper. We've touched up as many as we possibly can. There wasn't loads. But again, they are there. They are going to be there. Now, a couple of little bigger stone chips on the bonnet that we've touched up. There's a couple along here. One along there. And one along there. I think there was two or three. Yeah, one, two, and another couple on here. But again, it's to be expected. Again, I'm not going to go on about the taking the photographs from back here. It's a black car. It's got a few stone chips, guys. We have touched it up to the best as we possibly can. Right, so um, warranties. Some customers tend to ask us about warranties. We offer a six month warranty. We have two different custom companies that we deal with. We try and tick as many boxes for you. We don't give you a sort of a 250 pound maximum claim limit. We try and do it so the maximum claim limits can be the, the price of the car that you've purchased from us. Uh, we'll tick all the boxes so you've got 100% parts and labor contribution paid for once a claim has been authorized by the warranty company you must haste it you know not everything on a car is going to be covered the warranty company is not going to cover every single thing okay but we've we've looked out in the marketplace we've picked two of well we've actually picked three of the best ones out there and we'll, we basically use two on most of our vehicles because uh, vages mileages things like that will tend to recommend the two best ones for any vehicle that you're purchasing from us we let you then make your own choice. You go back home, have a read about all their reviews. We don't force anything on the customer whatsoever. All that is included in the price of the car. We don't have administration fees like other garages do for writing out an order form. We don't charge you for the warranties. The only time a customer will be charged for any warranty is if they choose to upgrade it for another six months, giving them a year, two years, three years, etc. Anyway, I just wanted to thank you very much for your time. If you're interested in this particular car or anything else we've got on motor park vehicles, please don't hesitate to give me a call. Uh, whether it's a, an email, text message, whatever you want to do, I'll always get back to all of my customers. Thank you again for your time and apologies that I have babbled on a bit too much. Bye-bye.